praise the Lord. My name is Olusegun Moku Olu, and in this um, video, I am sharing about a satanic message that is becoming popular in the church that is called honor. Honor. Uh, British spelling is H O N O U R. I think America spells it as H O N O R. Honor. It's a demonic, satanic message. And what does that message teach you? It's a message that tells you that you can only attain things in life by honoring men. And by this honor, they actually mean the man of God. And so there is the focus on them on man. There is focus on men. You will even hear some of them foolishly say that when they desired a grace, when they desired anointing, and they saw that a man has that anointing, they honored that anointing. They, they sow seed, which means they gave money into that um, anointing. Now, when you hear things like that, it is, it is, it is mind-blowing because it is unscriptural, it is satanic. And many are building churches on this doctrine of what they call honor. Honor. That the central, the, the focus of it is man, is not Jesus. You know, how can Jesus call you, for example? He said, are, he said, are all workers of miracles? He said, we are giving different gifts. We don't receive the gift of God by going to sow seed in another man's life. I think that was what um, Simon did. I will read that passage to you uh, in the book of Acts when he, he told Peter that um, he want to receive of their, uh, he will give them money so that this power can also fall on them and the response of Peter to, to him. So in Acts chapter 8, um, let me read from verse 14. The scripture says, Now, when the apostles who were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them, who when they had come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he had not fallen upon none of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they lay hands on them and they received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Verse 18. And when Simon saw that through the laying on of the apostles' hand, the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money. Please pay attention to the word of God. He offered them money, saying, Give me this power also, that anyone on whom I lay hands may receive the Holy Ghost. Look at the response of Peter in Acts 8.20. He said, But Peter said to him, Your money perish with you, because you thought that the gift of God could be purchased with money. You thought that the gift of God could be purchased with money. That's what they are preaching today. You will hear somebody saying he went to sow to one ministry because he coveted the grace that they carried. That is demonic. That is satanic. That is not the gospel. Any gospel that is focusing on honoring men is not a gospel. The gospel is Jesus. The only person we are called to honor is Christ. If you are a servant of God and you are listening to this or watching this, and you are seeking honor from men. You are not a servant of God. You are not serving God. Why do you want to be honored? Why has that become your own message? I saw a Bible study of a particular church and I was shocked. What they wrote in Bible study is how to honor your man of God. That was their own Bible study. Why are men desperate for honor? Why do you think that you can buy the things of God? Some even said they went to labor and work for that ministry. 
They help in carrying their microphone, in carrying speaker, in carrying... The, so you are doing all of that so that you can receive grace because you saw healing taking place at their program. So you have to go and do that because you want healing. Not because you love the Lord Jesus and you want to serve in the body of Christ. Just because you want to attain power. Where did you see the apostles sowing anything to the life of Jesus because they covet his grace? Where did you see... Paul, sowing anything to the life of the apostles. And you know, by teaching this, they make it difficult for you to challenge or confront any servant of God that is going in error. Just the way Paul rebuked Peter. If it were today, they'll say, no, 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 no. That's an apostle. You must honor him. You must recognize honor. Honor. Everything they keep saying is honor, honor. And this is a doctrine from the pit of hell. I'm not minding words from you, for you. This message came from the kingdom of darkness. Satan packaged this message and put it in the heart of men because it goes along with their flesh. Why would Jesus call you for a ministry, for an assignment, and you need to go and show money to somebody to have the tool to do that assignment? To the glory of God, there is nothing I'm doing today that I have to sow into any man's life. The grace of God is freely made available. God will give grace for what he has called you to do. Unto everyone is given a measure of grace. Be careful and beware. Anywhere they are preaching this message is not of Christ. I want you to know it. It is one of the doctrines of demons in the end times. It is a satanic message. This message they call honor. It is a message that is man focused. Any message that is man focused is satanic. Jesus said, He said to Peter, when Peter said to him, You are not going to die, you are too good to die. Jesus said to him, He said, Get behind me, Satan. He said, For you mind the things of men. Can you see Satan? Satan mind the things of men, not the things of God. When you see preachers that mind the things of men, you know that you have Satan at work. Let me read something to you in the book of John about Jesus Christ. John chapter, chapter 5, John chapter 5 verse 41. Look at what Jesus said. I do not receive honor from men. That's Jesus. Please take your Bible and read the book of John chapter 5 verse 41. I'm not making it up. I'm reading New King James Version. I do not receive honor from men. That is Jesus. That's what, what, that is what the servant of Christ are now seeking today. The so-called servant of Christ. That's what they are seeking. They are seeking honor. Jesus himself said, I do not receive honor from men. That was why they could question Jesus. The Pharisees could abuse him. Did he slap them? Did he say, oh, you don't recognize honor? Even his own disciples could betray him to his face. And say, I don't know him. The, the Roman soldier, they slapped him. They spit on him. Did he threaten back? Did he say he was seeking honor? Did fire come down from heaven to destroy those people? Look at the way they were beating Paul everywhere. Understand this. Now, are we saying that you should go and disrespect servant of God or disrespect believers? No. As a child of God, we respect one another. But the, the, this doctrine called the doctrine of honor, they cannot found it, they cannot base it on the scripture. It is not founded on the word of God. It is just their own imagination. Because they want to be treated like God. Let me say this thing to you. This is a mystery. This is a mystery. Every human being has the tendency to be like God. You know why? We were created in the image of God. But Satan deceived man to become like God. And so the natural tendency is that every man is seeking to be like God. He's seeking worship. Why do you think we have world leaders that they, everybody wants to be worshipped? Everybody wants to be the one on the scene. Some of the glory people seek in sport, deep hidden in it is a desire to be worshipped. They love the fact that they are in the limelight. They love the fact that everybody is talking about them. Man wants to be like God. And that is what Antichrist is going to epitomize. That is what Antichrist is going to symbolize. That is what Antichrist is coming to crown. 
man ultimately sitting right from the garden. That's what happened. Sitting and say that he is God. That's what Antichrist is going to do. So you must understand this. When you are seeking people to honor you, to treat you specially. Now, I'm not saying that you should want people to abuse you. No. I don't really care what you do to me. You know, I went to a place to preach. And when I got there, they said, welcome this man of God with clapping ovation with this. You know, I, 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 I got pissed off. And I'm like, who is this anointed man of God? Do you know that there is no powerful man of God? That statement in itself is wrong. There's only a powerful God. There is no powerful man of God. There is no, there is no anointed man of God. We all as believers are all anointed. If you have the Holy Spirit, you are anointed. What we carry is grace. So when I got up, I told them, I said, who are you clapping for? Because sincerely, I've not finished my race. I'm just a brother like any one of them. Why are they clapping? But because that's what some men enjoy. They enjoy it when people clap. When people clap for them. When they have not finished their race. When we are all in a race together. And I said, please stop doing all of this. I am not a powerful man of God. I'm just your brother. I'm just your brother. I'm just privileged within these 40 minutes to share the word of God with you. Let's stop all these men praising. Let's stop all these men singing praises of men. It takes us nowhere. We are ordinary brethren. It's the mercy of God that has kept us. We are ordinary. Jesus said, I do not receive honor from men, but men that said they were sent by Jesus are looking for honor. They say, understand the principles of honor, 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 everything, honor. They brought it to the, the, the it, it has now reached the level that they are worshipping their men of God. Were we not in, in this world <clears throat> when a pastor came on, on TV and said openly that he wished he worshipped his pastor? I think it was one of the pastors of Christ Embassy. And I felt that Chris Oyakilome would come out and cry. And, and roll on the ground. I say, no, no, no. I'm not worshiping. I've not seen him done that. I hope somehow he will find grace to do that. Who is human being? How can a human being say another human being is worshipable? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Who do you think you are? We are talking of ancient of days. We are talking of king of kings and lord of lords. The eternal rock of ages. The creators of the heaven and the earth, the beginning and the end. Do you know how many human beings God has dealt with? This is just your generation. In, few, in, in 50 years' time, I'll probably not be alive. I may not be alive. Or maybe 60. I may not be alive. Who knows? Maybe even tomorrow I may not be alive. And our generation will be completely gone. And there will be a new generation that God will be working with. How then do we think that we can stand in the place where another human being will say that he can worship us? That's what is happening today. Why do men love worship? You know, when they wanted to worship Paul, you know what he did? He tore his clothes. He rolled on the ground. He put ashes on himself. He said, men and brethren, we are men like you. If it were today's pastor, they would say, those are men that understand honor. What useless honor is that? See Jesus. Jesus said, I do not receive honor from men. Jesus was not looking for honor from men. Did you see Jesus preaching to people? Honor. What did he say? Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. He came to raise us to be Christ-like, not honor. Be careful of message that centered on, on, on human affairs. The Bible says Satan minds the things of men, not the things of God. The whole of their message is how, you know that honor, they are teaching you because they see that that's the way you will break through in life. Can you imagine? The whole of their life is how you will have money. As if mon money is the gospel. The gospel is to prepare men for the kingdom of heaven. The gospel is for us to be like Jesus. That a life has been planted into us and flesh has been nailed to the cross. Beware of this message. If I read further, Jesus said in verse 44, in verse 44, he said, How can you believe 
when how can you believe who receive honor from one another and do not seek the honor that comes only that comes from the only god you do not seek the honor that comes from the only god only god honors men why are you seeking the honor of a man what kind of wrong foolish doctrine is that it's so satanic and you see in those places they hold people to ransom people don't people don't want to leave because in fact when you leave it is a dishonor so they they almost they, they so much brainwash you to think that you are not going to be successful in life because you don't understand honor and so they've literally turned men of god to god and they are worshiping them they bow you 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 an ordinary man and then or, or men like you they are worshiping you carrying everything for doing following you up and now as if you are god and you are happy you think that you have arrived that is ministry is that ministry jesus could wash the feet of it oh do you know what it means for jesus who created us who he is not a created being jesus had no beginning and he's not going to have an ending to wrap a towel and put our legs on his laps and begin to worship like an housemaid like an house help, like a slave. He begins, and after washing it, he would even dry it with the towel. But you are preaching honor. You can't serve brethren. They are the ones serving you. What did Jesus say? He that will be greatest among you must be the least. I want to warn young people, be careful. Be very careful. Run away from such assemblies that are teaching these heresies. The focus must be Jesus. Any assembly you are going that the focus is on man, that is not on Jesus, run from him, depart from him. The Bible says, if thou standest before a man and perceive it, he has not the word of knowledge in his mouth. Depart from his presence. Don't stay in places where the name of Jesus is not glorified. Don't stay in places where the message is not Christ. Don't stay in places where the message is not Jesus and him crucified. The message is Jesus. The gospel is Jesus. The focus is Jesus. It has nothing to do with us. It is all about Jesus. The honor that we seek is the honor that comes from God. I respect my pastor. I respect believers. I respect unbelievers. I like, but I do not worship anybody. I worship only God. They that I worship him was worship him in spirit and in truth. I don't need to sow anything into any man of God's life to have anything he has. If truly God has called me, he will equip me for what he has called me to do. We don't give because we are seeking. We give because we, we ourselves have been bought with a price. We owe nothing. We give for the advancement of the kingdom, not because I'm seeking power. Did you seek anybody in the, in the Bible seeking power? Where did you hear Paul praying for power? Look at his own prayer. That I might know him and the power of his resurrection. He wasn't talking about power to do miracles. He was talking about the power that makes us to live the life of Jesus. The resurrected life that is implanted into us. Where did you see anybody praying for power? And then look at Simon. Offering money. And then you are telling people today. To sow. To sow here. Ha! Ah, may God have mercy on, on your soul. May God have mercy on your soul. May you find grace for repentance. For you have been deceived and delusioned. You think you are preaching the gospel of Jesus. You are not preaching the gospel of Jesus. You are preaching another gospel. And if you don't repent, you will stand to be judged. You are deceiving God's children. You are winning the affection unto you. That's what Absalom did. He won the affection of people unto himself than unto the king. And the Bible said the heart of the people followed him. You are using all these principles, all this strategy to brainwash these young people. To brainwash the people God had gathered to you. 
so that their heart can be devoted to you. They are devoted to your activities. They are devoted to your building, which you call church, but they are not devoted to Jesus. But like Absalom, he was eventually destroyed. He was hung in the air. Repent today. And if you are attending such a place, leave such a place. The Bible says, come out from among them. Do not be a partaker of other people's sin. That's nothing like honor message. What we have is the, is the message of Christ. Christ alone is our message. May the name of Jesus Christ alone be glorified in the church. May Jesus alone be our message. May we look only unto Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. May people only see Jesus and not see men of God and not see servant of God. May they only see Jesus and be changed into the same likeness of the Son of God. May the church of Christ be revived and be made ready for the everlasting groom in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm your brother in Christ, Olu Shegun Mokwolu. God bless you.